Uh, we have gathered today more than 80 international organizations, countries, friends and partners from the region and from the international community, first and foremost to support Syrians. I said yesterday, after having met uh, the Syrian civil society organizations, that uh, Syria is not a chessboard for big players. Syria belongs to the Syrian people. And here today, we will mobilize, on one side, political support for a political process under UN auspices, the only context in which a political solution can be found for Syria. We will be together with staff and the Mistura discussing this with all the ministers of the region. The convening power of the European Union manages to reach out to countries that normally don't sit uh, necessarily at the same table, and we'll try to use this uh, opportunity, but also to mobilize humanitarian aid. The European Union has uh, devoted uh, so far almost 11 billion euros to the Syrian people, both inside Syria and in the region, and we will continue to support the Syrians, keep them alive, make sure that uh, children have access to education, people have access to food and water, and that uh, living conditions inside Syria and uh, in the neighboring countries uh, uh, allow them to uh, think and build the future of their country. The humanitarian uh, uh, help, the humanitarian uh, work, uh, is not a minor issue in this moment. It's a necessity. And we'll uh, discuss, especially with the United Nations, how to guarantee that uh, uh, ceasefires allow aid to go in and uh, civilians to be protected. This is going to be the main uh, work we'll try to do today. And I'll meet you uh, after uh, the morning sessions that will be dedicated after the opening uh, at our political discussions. So I'll meet you after the first. We'll also try to find common ground and uh, uh, some unanimity uh, to uh, have all the relevant actors pushing towards an effective and meaningful political dialogue. We need, in particular, Russia, uh, Iran, to uh, exercise pressure on uh, uh, Damascus. Uh, so that uh, uh, it accepts to sit at uh, the table under UN auspices. The opposition with uh, whom we have been working in these years is today more united and ready to sit for negotiating. Uh, we believe that uh, uh, the only uh, sustainable peace for Syria will be linked to a political process under UN auspices. And uh, as I said several times, uh, the three guarantors of Astana have a special responsibility in this context to uh, guarantee uh, that the ceasefires and the de-escalation zones uh, happen, while we are seeing an escalation in military activities, which is exactly the contrary of what they were working at and committed to. So we call on them to uh, go back to their efforts to de-escalate from a military point of view, and most of all to exercise political pressure on Damascus for uh, the beginning of meaningful negotiations, and I say meaningful negotiations. Obviously, we will also continue our work on uh, um, preparing for uh, the future of Syria, but we also make very clear that the European Union and the international community will not finance the reconstruction of Syria until we will see uh, a political process uh, firmly in place uh, under UN auspices. But we are ready to do that, and we would be very much willing to work on the reconstruction and the future of the country, obviously an inclusive, democratic, united country.